Over the recent years, GE Healthcare has come up with some fantastic innovations to help improve productivity and increase image quality. But we didn't stop there. On the hardware side, we have the ability to upgrade older systems that could have been purchased decades ago to upgrade those to from a 60 centimeter bore to a 70 centimeter bore through our EVO program. That allows a system that could have been purchased 15, 20 years ago to be able to upgrade from a 1.5T whatever they're currently at, all the way to an Artist Evo that is a 70 centimeter. On the 3T side, you'd be able to do the exact same thing, but just upgrade all the way to a Cigna Premier, the latest and greatest technology. And today we picked the Cigna Premier and want to show you one of the most challenging exams you can think of. Um, I think uh, that is the one which the customer always says is hard to do, the brachial plexus, especially in regards to scan time and image quality and patient comfort. It's hard to manage that on older scanners. So today we want to scan that on Cigna Premier with our 48 channel bread coil. But you can also use a standard HNU coil, and then we can combine it uh, with uh, the, one of the air coils. As you can see here, the air coils has really the advantage. It's light, light weighted, it's uh, really, really flexible, and the length really allows you that you can capture the uh, nerves until the armpit. So you really get a nice field of view coverage here, and it's right now really fun to do a brachial plexus. Yep, that's right. So let's step over to behind the console. We'll give you guys an idea of what that would look like scanning with some of these great applications. So let's look at the scans we just did here. We started with the 3D um, cube, uh, which we did in a stir contrast. And uh, just as a reminder, like when we pull up the sequence here, we can see we activated and used um, Hypersense. Uh, so when, in order to activate Hypersense, you just go here to the acceleration tab and you can see the factor. And on top of that, we use something called Hypercube. So we evacted here the ex excitation mode to focus, and then we can reduce our face field of view, which really helps us um, to scan a smaller face field of view and then reduce scan time. So the scan time came down to 3 minutes 48 uh, seconds. We applied also Aericon DL as you can see here in the sequence. The uh, acquired pixel size and that scan is one by one by one as a tropic and as you can see we covered really a, a great volume here. When we look at the images, um, we can see um, that we, we have the first overview here with the stir, and then we did some reformat since it was a 3D volume. And you can like really, um, due, due to the isotropic pixel, go double oblique in these scans and go um, from the start of that nerve all the way down here to where you need it, um, to the arm pinch almost, to see um, what's going on with that nerve. And you have all the three views here. You have a short axis available as well. And then here really like a long axis available as well. So you really see in full length the nerve um, displayed here. So in addition to that scan, we also did an FSE flex. So FSE flex is, um, well, we all know like this area can be a problem for getting a very even fat suppression. So this is a Dixon technique. So we're able to do that and get very uniform images. In addition to the water image that we're looking at here, you can also get a fat image, an in-phase image, and an out-of-phase image. So you'll get four sets of data with this one acquisition. What is new with this on MR30 for Cigna is we're able to turn air recon DL on. So this will allow you to scan faster with more acceleration, also allow you to increase the resolution to get better image quality as well. One other scan, the last one that we had done was a uh, propeller acquisition. So often, you know, this is a, um, a hard exam, I think, for patients to do. You're imaging their neck. The natural uh, response is probably to swallow a lot um, when you lay down. So um, this really can help with uh, these motion artifacts that you would see, you know, physiologic motion due to flow can also be helped with propeller and can greatly improve your image quality and get much better results. Um, as well as gross patient, patient motion can be helped also with propeller. 
also. Um, you know, these are scanned at three millimeter slice thickness, and the scan time is only two minutes and 49 seconds. With MR30 for Cigna, we can also apply Air Recon DL as well with um, propeller acquisitions to greatly improve the image quality and help reduce the scan time. So thanks for watching today. I hope you were able to learn a little bit more about GE Healthcare's innovations and our latest technology that can improve patient comfort, improve workflow, and increase productivity and image quality. Thank you. Bye. Bye. In the video description down below, you'll find a few links. One, you'll find a webinar by Daryl Sneag from Hospital for Special Surgery on brachial plexus imaging. And the second one is about artificial intelligence, the unmissable video where Eric Condiel is well explained.